Good afternoon guys and welcome to another video for Advanced In Car. So Richard and I today have been working hard on this 2018 T6 that's been converted, barn door converted into a camper via conversion company. So Mick is a regular customer of ours. He has come down today for uh, a Halo 9, Alpine Halo 9, nine inch floating dash. Um, also the front genuine Volkswagen parking sensor upgrade because he's already got the rear factory ones. Um, so now it's got four built into the bumper with a button on the um, dashboard. We've also gone for a barn door reversing camera and that just means now that that's tied in with the new Alpine system, routed through and to the front, and again, just gives him all round protection whilst parking, etc. So the other thing we've done is the bit that's taken most of the afternoon, if not all the afternoon, and for both of us, is we have fitted a 5G uh, antenna with a 5G Wi-Fi router. Now, uh, we do a lot for the motorhome side of the business, motorhome retrofits, but more and more of these campers come to us now because uh, they appreciate they're either in a van without a pop top, so like a Faraday cage and not getting much signal, or they're in the van at a campsite and the campsite Wi-Fi is a load of pants, so you, therefore you want to utilize your own. Now, of course, it does depend on you having a decent SIM card in the unit and being in a good signal area. Um, so what we've done is on the roof. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, so you know, we're open to constructive criticism, but we don't make this kit and we didn't make the van. We've just been asked to fit the kit and we do the best we can for it. So on the roof, uh, you'll see the 5G shark fin antenna. Um, we have done an install before where it's actually been horizontal rather than vertical. And yeah, it didn't look as good as it could have done, but when you've got a pop top uh, and you've got no other way of fitting the antenna on the roof, it's a little bit tricky. So this one here, the antenna's gone up on the roof. Rich has done a cracking job of bringing the cables in underneath the pop top, but uh, with a little bit of slack to allow the roof to go right up. Uh, we've gone in through a grommet and then tapped in through um, to the uh, leisure battery side of things for the power. So what we do is we jump in the back now and show you that before we show you the Alpine. So when we spoke to the customer about an ideal position for the Wi-Fi, we both agreed in this sort of center area where you've got all your electrics, your little control panel. Um, in an ideal world, it would be nice to have it all in here, but getting access to this for routing the cables is actually proven to be quite difficult. Now this particular 5G Compact Smart or the Smart Compact Pro, um, is great, it's not the neatest thing in the world and I'm sure the, the manufacturer distributor would, would probably agree with me and we're really fussy because we don't just fit stuff 
uh, we actually care about what we do and we want it to look as neat as possible. Now, you'll see in here, um, we have bought the two main cables in from the roof. That's been uh, hole sawed out nice and neat with cloth tape. And then we've taken the power in for um, the 12 volt supply and that's taken off one of these fuses up here. So it's all off the leisure battery. And then the customer can then because there's a rechargeable battery in here, can unplug the two antennas um, and then un unplug the data connection from here and it's then a portable router. I'm not sure why you would want to do that. Um, to be honest, having it connected to power and having it connected to the antennas is the reason why you want it. So it does mean that if you're out in the wild, camping off grid or camping in a campsite where the wi-fi is not great out in the forest somewhere this is going to be the best solution for you providing you've got mobile phone um, signal um, so we've put a tesco um, sim card in here of course there are so many and it really depends on what you want to pay per month um, for what sort of data plan you get some networks are better than others but then you can go to a different campsite and find one is better than the other so either way you know between rock and hard place but this is the best solution for you to get wi-fi in your vehicle so um, this is it nice and neat jobs uh, jobs done and the customers really really pleased and as usual you know richard and i uh, take a great deal of pride in what we do. I know I bang on about that, but after 20 years of trading, you know, the reason why we've got the reputation that we have is because it's not just getting a customer in, doing the job and going, thanks very much, just take your money. It's about making sure that they then talk to their friends and family and say, look, you need to go and say, see advanced in car. It's a cracking job and it looks nice and neat. So what we do now is jump in the front, quick demo for the um, Alpine camera and sensors. Um, okay, so we do loads of Alpine uh, videos, but uh, just a quick run through. Uh, we've retained the factory USB on the dashboard. Uh, the other one has been put in here for the comfort dash that we also fitted for Mick as well. That's just for charging, so extra um, convenience. Uh, microphone is in a really nice central position. It's not particularly pretty, but it's there to do a job. And of course, then you've got the Halo 9. Um, the front parking sensors have got a new factory button on the dashboard. And we've now got your sensors on the front um, that the Alpine can retain, which is really, really good. Just picking up on one of our loudspeakers in here. So, um, reversing camera, we can either select reverse gear or we can press the instant um, access to the camera. He still can see his uh, tow hitch for um, hitching up, which is great. And then you, we've turned off the guidelines, but you can turn them on and adjust them. But uh, I'd much rather for a nice clear picture, to be honest. So you can do the same as well, pop it into reverse. We also fitted the multifunction steering wheel a while ago, so so Mick has been back a few times now, and there's always um, there's always money to spend when it comes to a transporter, uh, and that's why we you know this is what we do every day is transporters. So I'm sure Mick will be down soon for some um, audio upgrades. So this is a 2018 Camper Conversion T6 barn doors, uh, and it's been into us for a load of stuff today. If you've got a vehicle like this, and get in touch with us, it's www.advanced-ing car.co.uk. Uh, don't forget to follow us on social media and uh, thanks for watching and have a good evening.